Hey guys, so uh, we're back in the cardboard camper today. So today we're going to give you a full tour of the things I built out of cardboard. Now this was basically a, a proof of concept build and you guys know I tried different concepts and different uh, strategies on how to build things out of cardboard and uh, each has its strengths and weaknesses. Got to keep that in mind. Uh, but I want to show you how I put everything together. But to do that, I brought in some specialists from Seattle and they are a little wrecking crew that is going to test how well my cardboard camper holds up. So let's introduce them. Hey guys, come on in. <laughs> All right, one is camera shy. I, I misspoke. I have one uh, specialist from Seattle who's going to help me uh, prove the concept of this cardboard build. What is your name? Leah. Leah. Okay, Leah is going to help me demo my cardboard camper. First up, let's start in the back. And what we have here is my cardboard bathtub. And, and of course, this, this part of the build I did with just packaging tape. I, I didn't do any fancy gluing or epoxy or anything like that. And if you're gonna have a bathtub, it's gotta be waterproof. And no, cardboard is not waterproof. So I just take out my storage baskets. Oh, I got my second specialist here with me. And she's gonna help us too, prove how well everything holds up. So this, this is just, a liner that I could just fold up and it is disposable so I got the drain and it goes through the hole and what you do is you just prop up the liner you prop up the liner and you have a water basin and yes you do take a shower in here uh, and I do have a video to demo that uh, but I think I'm going to use my help my friends here to help me out so I got this stool and we're gonna sit down and go ahead give it a shot make sure it works so these specialists from Seattle are going to make sure it works and how well does that fit you it fits. yeah it really, it fits. Um, it's really sturdy it's really sturdy all right so what you would do is you would take this hose right here and uh, there's shower curtains and I'll demo that in the video but you just kind of spray yourself and everything's going to drain down the bottom all right is that fit how about you let's throw you in there too to make sure it's sturdy enough is it sturdy enough Kate mm -hmm. all right so for those of you that hasn't seen the shower curtains it's just held together with the well, I have a bungee cord that goes across and a little side thing for the curtains over here and of course when the doors close I have a curtain on this side too so um, that's the way it's gonna work let's demo this thing again so you would just basically sit on it I mean, sit on this and you would sit here and you would take your shower and for the water I have one of my favorite devices this Sun Joe water thing all right so it's it's rechargeable I'm just gonna turn it on And I'm not going to worry because uh, nothing's going to rip. The, the bag is being held up with the, uh, with the weight of the car. So it kind of flexes to whatever the shape of the car is. Uh, the, the cardboard is more to hold up the sides. So, you know, you can see as you're taking a shower, all the water is going to come down here. The water is going to come down and... Everything's just going to funnel down, and no, it's not going to get the car wet. So, you know, I, I'm in here, I'm wearing my shoes, I don't hesitate, because you know, the bag is durable enough. Uh, if you want to get a thicker bag than the one I have, well, I say bag, but plastic sheeting, you know, the thicker the plastic sheeting, the stronger it'll be, so you could get thicker plastic sheeting whatever uh, if you get thinner ones you'll have to throw it away a little bit sooner if you get thicker ones you won't have to throw it away as often okay so let's go on to the next thing come on in climb in let's put this away why don't you guys have a seat on the bed and, and of course uh, after you're done with the shower you just basically just roll it all up and it's in storage mode so now it's just a storage area when you're not in shower mode so let's climb in here and these guys are already here 
and they're on believe it or not a cardboard bed this bed other than the mattress is all made from cardboard and and I have a video to show you how we did all that but hey you're not gonna believe me that this works right we're gonna let them jump up and down to make sure this is strong enough so I'm gonna get out of the way so I don't get hurt all right inspectors can you guys test how strong this bed is Oh, you guys could do a better testing than that. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. All right. Very nice. So, let's take a look at what this bed is made out of. Come on. Come on down. So, this is just a, a foam exercise mat that I got from Amazon. Of course, I'll leave a link on that. And I reinforced it with a little bit of extra padding so that it's more comfortable. But I built a cardboard bed frame out of it. And you can see there's a number of layers of cardboard and some epoxy on the bottom for extra strength. But down here, what I did was I, I reinforced all these boxes. And I have a video for that too that shows how I reinforced it with basically, uh, you know, either paint mixing sticks or just these little corners right here and when you put all these bo uh, boxes together they actually provide a very strong base and of course it's reinforced and when you put down the bed all the boxes they help each other with the support so no one box is carrying the weight so let's go all three of us I'm a buck 70 and uh, they're seven <laughs> but we're gonna jump up and down on this all of us and it is plenty strong. Thank God. It is strong. All right. So let's move on to the next item. So uh, next item over there is my cardboard pantry. And yes, this pantry over here is made out of cardboard. Why don't you girls try it out? Let me unlock it first. Why don't you? Oh, wow. that has real food? It's got real food in there. And it's my pantry. So let's take a look at what's inside. And, oops, that's, the, that's the microphone that fell down. But if you guys pick that up, why don't you see how heavy that is? <laughs> it's actually pretty heavy, huh? Yes, because it's a, a lot of canned foods that I put in here. And yes, it is, oops, it is cardboard. And yes, it holds the weight of all this canned foods. This. Uh, that's just what you hang on to in the car so you just twist that and that locks it all in so these items that I have in it's I use just regular screws to mount those things up and yes even a paper towel holder right there <laughs> it's a paper towel. I know it's not in the car right now okay next up is the cardboard counter and this is where you know, you're gonna cook and everything and if you look here, there's a microwave. Here's the microwave, and I built around this microwave, and this microwave also so forms some level of support. And of course, it opens and closes. So this is all cardboard right here. I built a cardboard frame around the battery, uh, and we'll look on the other side for you guys to see that. Okay, so let's look at the back side of this, and you can see here the microwave on, sits on top of this big old thing, and this big old thing is the battery. And what I did was I used the battery size and strength to my advantage and I used it as part of the support. So I, I kept the box that came in and I just built the boxes around it to give it some extra support. And of course there's these cardboard edges that I got from some uh, furniture packaging. But uh, this uh, battery sits in a box and this microwave sits on top of that battery and that gives this top some extra support in addition to the walls of course which I built around everything. This counter uh, cardboard countertop has wallpaper that I put on the top but basically this is just three layers of cardboard that I pressed together and it's pretty powerful uh, pretty strong. Over here I have a little space for a little bit of extra storage and the power strip so when we want to power up um, the microwave but you know the, the biggest issue about this countertop is it strong enough? You, do we have anybody here that can test how strong this cardboard countertop is? <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, well, climb up. Climb up. Hey, make, climb up. I, I'll climb up. Watch, it'll hold me. Oh my. And yes, th this is cardboard. 
Now, come on, you girls. You guys could do a better test job than that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so if if you think you could do more destruction than two little girls, you're crazy. <laughs> if they if it can hold them, it can hold anything. So over here, I have a a um, a cabinet with some shelves, and inside the shelves, I already have some junk in there. Let's see what do I got. I got my, my rice cooker. I got my my electric grill. And there's a shelf, and you can see there's still plenty of space for more junk than that. And uh, this this door I made is just really rudimentary. No no hardware. You just kind of put it in through the friction that uh, the cardboard has. I got some plastic sterilite drawers right there. I didn't turn on the lights. I didn't turn on the lights. There's a light right here, but it's pretty bright. Uh, you won't be able to see anything because it's so sunny. But anyways. Uh, like I said, I, I built this cardboard camper as a proof of concept to show people it can be done. And, and what do my inspectors say? Is this doable? Yes, it is doable. It is doable. Uh, but uh, if you want to see how I actually did each individual thing, you can check out my videos and you can see I use different techniques for different things. For instance, I, I use epoxy on the back side of that and, and a lot of packaging tape. For, for this guy, I use just... Um, hot glue mainly and I try to use um, the the wallpaper the waterproof wallpaper and I, and I painted this if you have bare cardboard it paints very nice and it does provide some level of waterproofing do the paint uh, not any structural help but it does do some waterproofing and of course the bed I mean that's the main thing are you gonna be able to sleep on cardboard and uh, according to my inspectors they, they declare that you can sleep on on cardboard, you want to lay down and see. It's really comfortable. <laughs> it's re <laughs> all right. So that's the end of the tour, and the inspectors say it's all right. We'll see you guys in the next build. It's Miller time.